The non-profit Child Care Policy Alliance says the government should offer more support to fathers with young children. It's proposing a full month of paid leave for fathers after a child's birth, up from five days. It's also proposing other legislation that makes it easier for men to take time off work to be a parent. One moment it's feeding time, the next is playtime. More and more fathers are putting their careers on halt to focus on the responsibilities of parenthood. Ahead of Father's Day on Sunday, the Child Care Policy Alliance called on the government to support fathers who want to be a bigger part of the children's upbringing. While their children were infants, the fathers on parental leave fed them and changed their diapers. Developed countries that instituted systems like this say that prolonged father-child intimacy was a major factor toward a healthy upbringing. On July 1st, new rules on parental leave came into effect. Parents can now get 80% of the full salary instead of the original 60%. They can now take their paid leave in units of one month rather than six. In addition, both parents can take paid leave at the same time. But the Child Care Policy Alliance says more legislation is needed. It's proposing that parents be allowed to take parental leave for children up to eight years old instead of three. It also recommends reducing the unit of leave from one month to an hour. It also proposes fully paid leave for fathers for the first month after the child's birth. A 2019 United Nations report pointed out that in Asian countries, including Taiwan, there was an extremely uneven distribution of work between parents raising a child. It wasn't the only problem, but it is a big problem. So allowing fathers to take part in child rearing could be one solution for the falling fertility rate. The Child Care Policy Alliance and the lawmakers said that more can be done to support families. They say that allowing dads to be more present can only be good for families and may even boost the fertility rate.